Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome back once again to JJ's PC Build. You know it is. JJ with you once again. Okay, before we get started, broke. Seems that new mic I got from, uh, yes, we're back to the old scratchy. Seems that new mic I got from uh, Timo. The cord had like some kind of short right here in the, the base. So I'm going to have to take that apart. I'm going to have to get a special screwdriver to get in there and fix that. But in the meantime, I got the old reliable back once again. Yeah, you know how the old reliable is. It seems to be kicking. So, But that's not why we're here today. What we're here today is to talk about the 99. Or not the 99. Let's start it again. Hello everybody, welcome back to JJ's PC Builds, we're JJ with you once again. Today we're here to talk about the new X3D series coming out, which is the 9000X3D, which is 9950X3D, and the 9000X3D, and so on. And we got some more for you, so do stick with us, and we're going to go ahead and get the party started. And we brought the party right here to the action screen, like I always do. I'm going to read off and let y'all know what I think. And this says the Ryzen 9000 X3D CPUs might be going on sale in September, which I did make that on the, the you know, thumbnail, which will be a disaster for Intel. It could be a disaster. It could be a knockout. You know, it's boom. Could be a knockout punch for the Arrow Lake CPUs. You never know. But also, too, you never know that Intel might have something up their sleeve. So it's going to be a big old battle when it comes down to um, September. And when, you know, Intel launches theirs and so-called AMD launches theirs, it's going to be a big old battle of the Silicon Titans. That's for sure. So let's go. Oh, we got to stop for one minute. I know y'all are going to be saying, Jay, you forgot something again. And I'm going to be like, oh, what did I forget? And y'all are going to say, the big booty cursor. That's what y'all are going to tell me. Y'all are going to tell me I missed the big booty cursor. Let's get it in here. Say we got it right here for you. We didn't forget. Okay, let's scroll on down and see what we can find out. And let's make this a little bit bigger too. And close that. That's just annoying that they do those pop-ups. You know, but let's give a shout-out to Tech Radar for the awesome uh, article that they did right here saying AMD next-gen uh, 3D V-Cache processors will be with the Ryzen 9000 X3D models. Could be out soon after the vanilla Ryzen 9000. They put 9000 CPUs. They should have put 9000 X CPUs. And they'll, when they arrive in July, um, somebody said that they're hearing that they might come like a couple, couple weeks early. That could be a paper launch. You never know. I hope it is. Because if they do a paper launch early, a couple weeks in July, and then at the 31st they put them out and launch them, that would be even more awesome. But it'd be even more awesome, like I told you guys, if they did and they launched them to the stores on July the 4th. That'll be something that, you know, none of these PC part companies ever done, is launch it on July the 4th. I know everybody's saying, well, you know, that's Independence Day. Well, you got to be independent with your PC parts, come on. So, let's get into this article here and see what they got cooking. So, now we thought ARMS... Now we should arm. What the hell? Sorry, I got I'm. It's. I have a hard time with my glasses a little bit, so do bear with me, guys. Now we should arm ourselves with the whole lot of caution up front because this is just a rumor. You all know, take rumors with a grain of salt. Whatever. But according to Club 386, AMD's plan to launch Ryzen 9000 X3D processors in September. 
Okay. If you think there is a question mark here immediately, which there is, in terms of what the launch would be and unveiling of the silicon or the CPU actually being on the shelves in September, nobody knows. The language of the reports very much indicates the latter. Um, indicates later. They should put later. While it doesn't explicitly uh, state this, the comparison drawn later in the report between the launch of the 7950X and the 7950X 3D, which has about a five-month gap based upon the sale dates. So, we can only assume that it'll be just a two-month gap in between the term of the sales from the 9,000 vanilla series, which arrive in July, announced by AMD at Computex during Computex. Let's just say that. To the 9000 X3D silicon turn up in September, which will be very fast launch from Team Red indeed. And very real blow to Intel's next gen hopes. We'll see. We never know. Rumor comes from an anonymous source at the Computex 2024 show. And the report speculates about which processor models could arrive first. Club 386 theorizes that they might be the Ryzen 9 9950X 3D. And it could be the Ryzen 9 9900X 3D in tow. So, past form with low tier models will come out later. Sadly, we don't know any of the details or the potential specs. These firm favorites for the rank well is on our list of best CPUs. So. Analysis. We should stress uh, the plentiful seasoning needed here. This is quite the surprise. The revelation, frankly... And we'll be happier when we hear from another source or two. Also with the X3D CPUs apparently quite close to hand, there's still being no speculation details on all of it or any point, any shadows, or a lot of doubt. That's what I think. So, let's keep that in mind. So, the way it looks is, from what I'm reading, what I'm reading here is that it's a lot of speculation. There was other speculation, too, about another thing that popped up about the 9700X. So, that's what we're going to right now. And this popped up on my radar for um, Tech Power Up. So this says right here, AMD to revise the specs on the Ryzen 7 9700X to increase the TDP to 120 watts, beating the 7800X 3D. Okay, now, I want you all to hear this. We all know that adding more power to a CPU or a GPU is going to actually raise the performance a little bit better. A little bit, not a lot. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about, you know, whoa, it's going from 65 watts to 120 watts. Okay, so it's getting, what, 55 more watts? Really? Even though I keep my processor at 71 watts and it's only rated for 65 watts, but the PPT is only rated up to 88 watts, so I keep it right in the middle.
but I still get the performance I need, even though that it's, you know, you go to these little bottleneck sites and they say, oh, you know, you, your, your CPU is bottlenecking your GPU. You need a better CPU. Yeah, all right. I have never had any problems with any systems I put together. Now, if I'm going to have a calculator that's been built for the Internet, that that's nothing but, you know, to me, it's nothing but a spoof. <laughs> and, you know, this bottlenecking, if you know, if you know the usage on your CPU and you know the and you see the, the margins and you got like HW info to watch how much usage is on your CPU and how much usage is on your GPU to know how to balance it and then, you know, go from there. So, like I said, I'm only running at 30% on my CPU, but I'm running at 100% on my GPU. So, under my calculations, I'm not bottlenecked. Under their calculations, I am. But I also noticed, too, I also noticed, too, that when I went from 1080p to 1440p to 4K, the higher I went, the less the bottleneck. I always thought it was the other way around. To where that the higher you go, like up to 4K, the more of a bottleneck it becomes. And that's what I've always thought when it comes to gaming. But obviously, that test done went and twisted it the other way around. I'm going to show you the test results. So let me go ahead and cook them up and out. And get this out of my way. And what we'll do is we'll just go into my templates. I'm just, I'm just going to show you what I've seen from these, you know, no-nonsense sites when it comes to the benchmarking and, you know, the bottlenecking so 1080p is here okay so they say they say that oh you guys probably can't see it that well let me let me pull it over here they say at 1080p I'm 31.7 percent bottlenecked but they say at 1440p, I'm 24.8% bottlenecked. But they say at 4K, I'm 12.9% bottlenecked. Now, I, I'm going to see if they have a 16K. And to see if that says like 3 point, what would it be about 3.8? 3.7, 3.8 maybe? Huh. Maybe I ought to get the calculator out for this one. I know y'all love the calculator, so we're just going to have to bring it out. So, looking at it, let's go from the lowest to the highest. They say 31.7, so we take 31.7. We'll minus it from the 4K, which is 12.9. So you're telling me that my G, my CPU is 18.8% bottlenecked going from 1080p to 4K. So I lose this 18.8% if I run 4K. That's what it was saying. And as you can see, that's what it says on the test. So, something something to me ain't right with these tests. And I was bringing that up in Discord to my Discord patrons. And I just say, hey, there's something wrong with this. There's something badly wrong with this. Because if I'm at 4K with the 5700X and the RTX 4070, not the Super... The 4070 at 4K, you're telling me it's 12.9%. So I've been playing at 1080p with no problem, no stuttering, no nada, a couple hundred FPS. The lows are pretty good. Lows stay, you know, over the hundred mark. 
So that's at 1080p. But they say I'm 31.7% bottlenecked. It's just, this calculator is not right, people. Just, just to say that calculator is not right. There's no way in frig that, you know, and I ran the test myself and I just showed you all the test. So as I go up from 1080p to 1440p to 4K, it looks like the bottleneck reduces, but I guarantee the FPS is going to reduce as well. So, the way I look at it is this. If I'm getting 200 plus on 1080p, then that means if I go to 4K, I can look at it to be getting 60 to 70 FPS. About an average. But like I said, you know, it's there's always room for me to upgrade the CPU, the RAM, and the motherboard to this RTX 4070 and push it to a higher note and see what that that bo uh, that bottleneck tester says. Says if it's going to be a zero bottleneck or not. A new, the newest processor that's out. And if it bottlenecks, you all are going to be like, what the hell, man? Why is it bottlenecking? It shouldn't. That's going to be the question. So we're going to see... We're going to see if we can get our hands on, if it's a decent price, one of these 9000 series processors and put it through the bottleneck test. We're just going to have to. But what they're saying with the, the, the 9700X is that it's going to go from, and this is just a rumor, okay? It's just a rumor. So they're saying that the 9700X is going to go from 65 watts to 120 watts. That's going to be 15 watts higher than the 7600X. That's what they're saying. So, but it's a rumor and leak. We don't, we won't know until they launch. Okay, take it with a grain of salt right now until they get up to the launch point. And then after the testing, then we can say for sure if this is what happened or not. So if I can get my hands on it, I'm going to test it for y'all and I'm going to go live just to let you know that. But if I can't get my hands on it, I guess I'm going to be waiting like everybody else for the benchmarks to come out. And assess, you know, what I think about those benchmarks and let you all know what I think. So, we're going to work towards trying to get one of these new processors. But, I, truthfully, I'm going to wait a little bit. is because I'm going to wait for the 800 series motherboards to come out. They say the, the 9000 series processors are going to be coming out the X processors, and then a little bit later, the 800 series motherboards are going to come out. So if it come, the 800 series motherboards come out in between July and September, they might come out in August. So that would be something different if those 800 series motherboards came out in August. So July, you got the 9000 series vanilla processors. And then August, you got the 800 series motherboard. And then in September, you got, guess what? You got the X3D processors, the new ones. The bigger of the bunch. So with AMD running these so close together, I can tell you, Intel better pull a rabbit out of their hat. Because it sounds like it's going to be a big one. AMD's going to go out with a bang this year. That's what it sounds like to me. So, if they're going out with a bang this year, it's July. It's definitely that kind of time of the year. It looks like that, you know, those X3D processors are going to be kind of more interesting to me. As well as you. As well as you. Don't get it wrong. 
don't get upset just calm down a little bit just take your time breathe you will be fine but if they're coming out within two months of each other then my best bet to you is wait if you can invest the money and buy the, the X series that's up to you if you can afford the X series and if you can afford to get the 3d series and get the whole complete series that'll be a good deal even yeah so then now you get the whole series just like you said yourself well if I bought the 7,000 series and I bought the whole series then you know this 9,000 series coming out I'm gonna buy the 9,000 series but wait I got the 8,000 series APUs that are in there you still got those in there too and but it, what it's looking like is the L2 cash I was hoping they would keep the L2 cache at 32 megs and then the rest on L3. But some of the processors, they did 16 megs of L2. If you look at the 5600G, that's got 16 megs of L2. So if that is a little bit of a hint to you, then, you know, because the way it looks right now, it's just everything's running off of your l2 i don't see too many things hitting that l3 so these game makers better get on their game and get up to the bigger the bigger uh packages when it comes to the l3 and have them start to hit on that because it seems like the only thing they're hitting on right now is the l2 cache i know you're going to disagree with me about it and that's the reason why you just leave your comment down below on this video. Let me know what you think. You know, let's just get it all out in the air. So this way, you know, we all move on with our happy days. But if you just bought a 7000 series processor. And I really hope you all wait before you decide to... Um, To get a processor a cpu i really hope you do because it's looking like that they're going to use this uh, 9700x and they're going to try to take out the 7800x 3d so this is going to be now amd is going to make it a competitor they're competing against their own cpus right now and when that happens and they start competing against their own cpus they're going to be pushing the scales. They're going to be making them bigger and better. So you got to have that competition in there to make the next big thing become bigger and better. And that's just my opinion. So I'm glad I have an opinion. You have an opinion. We all have an opinion. So if you believe in the hype and you believe in the hype on this channel, well, we're trying to get the hype going on this channel. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. And you put a positive like on the video and also to make sure you turn your notifications on. So that way you know when I post the next video. Until the next time and the next video everybody, we will see you on the next one.